Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our El Cid playthrough here, well, Descendants of El Cid playthrough, I should say now, in uh, Crusader Kings 3, I nearly said Total War then, <laughs> and, well, well, basically, cut the whole story short, please go watch it all in the playlist, started down here, set ourselves up, so gave gave El Cid some territory as, as the uh, King of Spain, uh, ended up, uh, getting hold of France through shenanigans, basically Pope wanted, Pope offered, gave us a chance to buy a claim, we did, we won, ridiculously easily, load of rebellions, and last time we just did a massive grand tour, which just got a bit ridiculous, um, so yeah, I could do a grand wedding if I, if, if, if we, we need somebody, you know, we'd have to promise one first, I could marry my son to somebody important, Doesn't make any difference because we are powerful enough that people already want to marry with us. Uh, so I'm going to leave that for the time being. We are going to host another grand tournament. Oh, I can't. I can't for a while more. Boo. Oh, we were going to do a pilgrimage, weren't we? We are going to do a pilgrimage. Now, worldly. Uh. Ooh. I'm not really fussed by that. Well, we are a multicultural empire. Or oh, increase extra piety. Uh, hmm. I'm going to have a look at what the options for a worldly pyramid are. P pyramid? <laughs> Pilgrimage are. Um, it's here to Jerusalem. Um, I mean, there's a few. I could go, just go to Canterbury. Vatican? No, no, no. Let's go to Jerusalem. 22 months. Can I change the route, though? Uh, a pilgrimage. Obligatory. Okay. I know this is cool, because some, some religions have... You've got to take... Yeah. Pomp. Ceremony. So we could choose a humble one where we take nobody with us. Uh, pomp, you know. I'm going to go for a throng. No, we're, we're El Cid. We, oh, you see, it reduces the cost. It means it's going to be less useful, but much more piety is earned. Bring no one from your court. Um, making travel dangerous. But we are, we are the descendant of El Cid. And one of the things about El Cid is he was always very humble. Um, uh, let's appoint a new caravan master who's excellent, which will make everything faster. Uh, hire some experienced captains. I'm not daft. I'm not going to allow, I'm going to, you know, make sure that we don't get killed. Can I not change the route? Where is the other danger? Oh, here itself. So, dry lands. And we will hire a desert warrior. There we go. So, that's no real threat there. Uh, but we, uh, it's a humble, it is a humble one for us, even though it's a worldly pilgrimage. There we go. Uh, so we, we're going on our own. This would get us much more piety on completion, much more piety. So this is still much more, and it's cheaper. Um... That makes it huge. I can't do them anyway. Anyway, let's let's go. There we go. So we are on pilgrimage. There we go. We are El Cid the Second. El Cid the Mustache is a uh, off pilgrimage. A fresh start. There we go. Sorry, I'm drinking coffee. I shouldn't be doing that at the same time. Um, why? All while preparing for my journey, I had a sense of serenity and knowing that everything will be alright. 
I am pleased to embark on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. I can't wait. Here we go. <clears throat> Most of this is going to be at sea. An errant knight. Ooh. It's known that the people of, of Cotillion seem to profess a special devotion towards their knight and their legends. My lord, the knight says, bowing his head. It is most fortunate that I have come to meet, came to meet at this crossroad, for I am in search of a marvellous fountain which the water is said to cure all illness. Join me on my quest. Ooh. Uh, really nice armour you have there. Share coin? What? So look at his stats. Hey, I could bring him into my court, but... We will. I, I will never leave a knight unattended. The knight leads to a small clearing. A natural fountain glimmers. Light reflects upon the surface. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, careful. A beast. A guardian. The knight points to stag. Don't fear. I shall fight it. Ooh. Oh, I'm wounded. No! Oh, I'm obviously not that wounded. Uh, I can manage things from here. I forgot we were having a crusade. <laughs> so we are doing a crusade while our boss man, the, the, the powerhouse, is not going to be in this war. Because we are crusading. But that doesn't stop us from raising our armies. Um, under a powerful secondary general. Oof. Oh, and they're going to be going straight into my territory and having my army smash them instantly. Uh, a derelict ship, the sea is calm and forgiving today. Still, as a boulder and a powerful, uh, and a powerful wind. Uh, still as a boulder and a powerful wind at our back and to boot. It seems it'll be an easy day. Okay. Let's investigate. A good find. Nice, I found some gold. Gold! Nope, let's stay here and batter their walls down. I can't make another Men of Arms regiment, but I don't think I'd have anywhere to... Oh, no, no, I should do. Um, we have light pikemen, light footmen, archers. I'm going to get some armoured foot... armoured swords. There we go, obviously you're going to take a while to raise, but that just gives us some more troops. I mean, they're not, literally not powerful enough to do anything to us. So if I click on that, yeah I can tweak the whole thing, right. Uh, washed up. Right before dusk, we hear the cries for help and look out for the railing onto the vast body of water. I notice a small boat with three human shapes. Climb aboard! Your pilgrimage becomes more worldly. Yes! So can I see the stats of my pilgrimage? Worldliness achieved. Okay, so yeah, I want to try and get as many worldly things happening as possible. I could have made my route ridiculous to do that. Apparently there is a... You can kind of cheat the uh, pilgrimages a bit and um, give yourself an awful lot of piety on the piety ones by... I think you just extend your route, but I could be wrong.
once we finished here, we're going to go down. Come on! I should have got more. God damn. Siege equipment. Scenic route. Uh, the spiritual journey has ground to halt. My caravan master is looking around frantically, searching for a way forward. Let us enjoy God's creation for a while longer. My wife is pregnant while I'm in Jerusalem. My nick I've gained the nickname The Good. Not quite El Cid, but it, it, I'll, I'll cope it. Nice. Other Catholics regard me with awe. Of course they do. Sorry, I want to um, supply up a little bit before we move. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. I have walked a holy path. We might even get back in time to join this war. Pilgrimage. Uh, appreciation. Grom, the, my fellow pilgrim, peers out over the spurring site of Jerusalem. As we make our way through the ground, Jerusalem is a, truly a sight to behold. A place where cultures and faiths meet together and worship. Uh, I can't choose that one. A feat only spirituality can achieve. Hang on, let's just check a couple of things. Yeah, that's all good. It's time to push. A pilgrimage, the calling. I enter the sacred gowns. I find Fernando staring at an altar of an absence of reckoning. Fernando, I call him. My lord, he says, unfazed. I have something to ask of you. I hope you can forgive me. This place has moved my soul. God has spoken to me and his voice is clear. Service. Precise. Uh, yeah, do what you have to do. Hmm. Uh, drop this nonsense immediately. I want. I'm after the worldliness, so he becomes my rival. Oh no! That is a worryingly big enemy force. May I interest you in during our pilgrimage to Jerusalem? Ju ju you can't help but return to a local market, pursuing the where wares. One standard particularly catches my attention. The merchant grins and claims, I have wares if my lord has coins. These exotic goods are presented will surely make most profit back home. Uh, yeah, we'll take the worldliness. Okay, so we got to level one. Determined pilgrim, nice. There we go. Oh god! Yeah, I messed up. Gallant, making us kind of scary.
do I have two kids called Rodrigo? I do! Rodrigo and Rodrigo, just in case. Yeah, we need a spare Rodrigo just in case the first Rodrigo turns out to be a failure. <laughs> This pilgrimage ain't going well at the moment. Yeah, you... That, I, I hadn't even twigged that had happened, but yeah, while I was away, he started gaining some power for himself. Okay, let's get our ass into this territory again. Okay, things are going better now. However... Oh, my rank is still first! Maritime Trading Handbook. Ooh, nah. Alas, I, I'm not willing to waste the money at the moment. Nice! Uh, gain, I gained the track. Both are good. Nice! Travel. Weird whispers. You notice, uh... Mutiny! Deal with that with the sword! <laughs> Travel. The Metal Man. As I stroll for my con, as... Truly, a stroll from Macon is a gift from a god. The tranquility of his place suddenly and abruptly broken by a furious grunts of clattering lava. Hark! Get out of this metal prison! Uh. uh no, he's. he's. Consider me Armagon. I've got a weak hook on him. It is good to be home, and now we are going to take over and become a crusader. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, the exotic wares? No, no, no. The coin speaks to us. There we go. Nice. So we, we we gained a friend. And we will become a brave crusader. Let's make sure I am educating my child. Rodrigo the Elder, the Middle, and the Younger. <laughs> Lost in fort. He's become pensive. Mm, I guess we're going to go for the stewardship focus for him. Not really what I prefer. You know, we are meant to be warriors. A soldier of the cross. There we go. Even more buffs. <laughs> Hmm. There is no need for a dedication. Uh, what artifacts do I still lack? Regalia. There we go.
Start making something earlier. Victory! St. George is with us. You should have the money. Focus back on my own realm. No, my niece. Oh, God, her husband is already dead. That is not good. Uh, bugger? Arranged marriage. Now that's annoying because she's going to lose the kingdom. Hmm. <laughs> I could just claim her title to make sure it doesn't get lost. But no, no, we're not going to do that. We are, however, going to try and find some secrets to see if we can get a, a, a hook on her. Though I suspect she'll be remarrying fairly quickly. I have a look on them, apparently. Oh yeah, we can disband my army now. Hmm. Wait, I can go on pilgrimage instantly again. That feels insane if I can just spam pilgrimages. Wait, can I just literally spam pilgrimages? Hang on, let's first of all let's hire a master of a hunt and then we are going to go on a we are gonna have a, a good hunt. Why not just appoint a master of a hunt? I love all of these guys. You know, this st all this stuff is just, just quite good. Not that you need them all. Interesting. Personal, why would I need a personal champion? Okay, now, now we're gonna organize a hunt. Flushing gangs and a huge party. There we go. Uh, slay a beast. Let's start the hunt. There we go. It can't wait. Shouldn't take long to get there. I wonder if this is increasing my traveler trait as well. As we travel, let's see what they actually do. It's really quite good. <laughs> and we're waiting for everybody. That Tash is just amazing. Ooh. Ah, we don't have windmills yet. I think we're actually getting that. Uh, this is an easy one. 
Royal Reserves. Upgrade Guilds. Upgrade Guilds. Okay, here we go. Ah, good prospects. I want to hunt something with some of them. Success chance is 80%, so that's good. We're decreasing it, but I think we've got the chance. Hmm. I'm here to win. I don't want to talk to people. Espionage, unbeliever. Ooh. Cornering of the wolf. My courtier guy signals across the woodland. The wolf pack crouches in a hollow not far. Yeah. I'll attempt to... Ooh, increases. After it, we ride! Come on, let's catch this wolf. Nice! After hours riding, we finally confront... Uh, and finally calling for wily, wily Beast. Our chase has got, not been in vain. I will bring it down myself. 11% chance I die. Uh, I will shoot it. Uh, it's not worth it. Unleash the hounds! No, I will shoot it. Nice. There you go. So we got it. Uh, it can go for... Uh, my, the queen can have it. There we go. Nice. We've got level one here. Ups my prowess. Nice. Okay, that was good. That was good. I still love about half my territory is down here. Travel a knight errant. I will follow the knight. I will fight it for you. Oh, this is the water one. Oh, nice. I'm happy with all that. That is fantastic, guys. It's a good omen. Okay. I'm going, going down the strategist tree now to make me even better. Mwahaha. This was fun. There we go. Uh, a jewel demanded. I'm giving a skirt. I've bested dozens of men. I have no interest in the fight. Uh. Yeah, let's fight him. No way I'm losing. I, of course I won the fight. Oh, I agree, she accept that money. we are going to have is our succession is going to be messy
I can't believe you can just spam pilgrimages at the moment. That does seem a little bit broken. So I need to start working on getting everything in this duchy directly under my control. Yoink! Sorry! Uh. Yoink! Oh, I think I even had a hook on him. Okay, uh, retract vessel. Yes, I, I get that I'm pissing people off. This is definitely going to hurt next time. This I can just grant somebody because I can always retract that one nice and easily. While we are, are doing all this and pissing people off, let us. Yes. So here. They will give that one to me. They know what they're doing. I don't want to stress myself out more. So we've been a bit horrible here, stealing lots of people's stuff, but it's something we kind of needed to do. So, I mean, he is still fantastic even on its own, and I need to get some stuff going. Ooh, manor houses. It's not always just about that now, because some of these other things are really good. Um, like, if I build the regimental grounds, reduces the cost. And obviously they all provide various buffs to various units. Ho host housed there. Hmm. I will actually have a think for that one. Anyway, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed watching the pilgrimage and me pissing off all of my vassals. Next time, I'm going to try and yoink these. We may f kick off a civil war. And uh, we'll probably give some of this directly to my second son. Though I could also just disinherit. But we'll see how it goes, guys. Anyway. As always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. And please do like and subscribe if you are. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That's Modest Abound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, uh, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. Thank you all for watching. Cheers all.